Welcome Retro Gamers to an episode of Massive Damage and it's the first episode so we'd like to start with a very special moment. Back in 1990X I was a seven year old little boy and I kept nagging my parents about trying to get a Nintendo Game Boy. Now why was that? Well back in the day there was this awesome little cartoon show which had live action segments and starred two very famous products the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. But there was something else in there. There was a segment called The Legend of Zelda, which was about this weird little guy who was a bit of a slacker. He wore tights and a weird little hat. So I, I checked it out, I was, I was you know, blown away by it. I, I had to get a toy sword and put it on my back and walk around with it when I was a kid because it was so awesome playing Zelda. So. I nagged to my parents, I want a Game Boy, I want a Game Boy mom and dad. I even got magazines and you know, cut out the Game Boy adverts and placed it around the rooms everywhere just so my mom and dad would see, I want a Game Boy. So in 1990X, I got a Game Boy and I got two games with it. The first game is Super Mario Land, which is of course the pack-in game and it is Mario on the Game Boy which was really really awesome back then it didn't have Goombas it didn't have Koopas it didn't even have Princess Toad's tool in it you know a space alien dropping down on a world and trying to take over and this Mario dude that I only saw in the cartoons is trying to rescue everybody and it's a different world it's not the Mushroom Kingdom no it's Sarasa land with their own inhabitants and their own culture and their own stuff like that somewhere there was this bit of unease it was like this isn't Mario, but it is Mario. Well, the other game I got was a Legend of Zelda game for the Game Boy. Was it Link's Awakening? Hmm, let's see. Yep, it certainly is a Zelda game. It's called Solomon's Club, but for me back then, and for my parents back then, it was as much as a Zelda game as it could get. Because back then, Link's Awakening wasn't released yet, and there wasn't anything dictating how Link would or should look because of the fact that the cartoon deviated from the game, the game deviated from the artwork or vice versa, and there wasn't any clear statement on how Link should look. So for me, this looked like Link. Link just had a wand instead of his sword, and he walked around trying to save Sprite, the little fairy from the cartoon. And as you see in the box art, it just looks a bit like the underworld where Ganon lives. So all things fell in place and for me this was the first Zelda game I've ever played. Now Solomon's Club is a puzzler game and you don't play as Link, you play as the magician Dana. And it's a puzzle game where you have to break and create blocks in order to finish a level. Now the key element of it, which is an actual key, is a key that unlocks the gate for a fairy that is trapped in the level to escape. You have to find the fairy using a magical bell. If you use the magical bell, you can grab the fairy and then leave through the gate. On your path, there will be monsters blocking your way, like dragons, gargoyles, stuff like that. But you will be using items to assist you along the way. And it was rather difficult for me to actually get the grasp of many of the puzzles until I was 21 and actually finished the game. So, replay value-wise, this is a great game. I mean, I started out when I was 7 and I finished it when I was 21 or something like that. So again, I can highly recommend this game in your Game Boy library. It's not rare as far as I know. It's not very well known because of the fact that it's on the Game Boy. But again, it is a wonderful, wonderful little game. So thank you for watching Massive Damage. I hope you've enjoyed the show. If you have any feedback at all, if you liked it, if you hated it, if you thought I should, you know, shave more often, if you thought I should um, change the lighting, if there's anything wrong with it, please let me know because it motivates me to make things better and to give you a more better experience watching this. So again, thanks for watching and hopefully till next time. Goodbye.